so the next question is write short notes on ring counter okay so in the last video we have seen uh, serial in serial out register okay so if the serial in the uh, serial in serial out uh, re register the output q is connected back to the input the output q naught is connected back to the input that it, that is your serial input then it acts as a ring counter okay so let me redraw the diagram once again four bit serial in serial out register okay so you had four flip flops with your clock enable right clock enable signal to which the connection was given from the shift clock enable then you had a clock signal which was triggered during the positive trigger right Now what was your data? Data was your input was a D0, Q0, D1, D flip flop, right? Q1, D2, Q2 and D3, Q3. So the output of previous one was fed as input to the next flip flop, the output. So Q1 will be input to your D0. Now what is the only difference here you had serial in, here you had serial out. Now the output Q is connected, Q0 is connected back to the serial in then it is called as your ring counter so this will be your structure of your ring counter so let us take an example let us assume that the initial state of the flip flops was equal to 1 0 0 0 okay so now what will happen now the output q naught is connected back to the input so in the first case what will happen the zero will go back as input uh, to your d3 it will be circulated so after the fourth pulse what will happen you will get the initial data first the initial data will be uh, circulated the initial data will keep on circulating and during the n uh, nth bit or the nth clock that is in this case it is four bit right four bit ring counter so after in the fourth clock pulse what will happen you will be getting the initial data let us uh, form the table first let us check it by the table so let me take this as your clock signal this was your serial input q3 q2 q1 q0 okay so 0 1 2 3 4 so what is your initial data initial data is equal to 1 0 0 0 same q0 will be your input here so during the first clock pulse what will happen 0 will be shifted here, 1 will be shifted here, this 0 will be shifted here, again 0. So let me draw this diagram like this. Again this 0 will go as your next input. During the second clock pulse 0 will be shifted here, 0, this 1 will be shifted, 0 will be shifted. This 0 will again go back as your input. Okay. During the third clock pulse this 0 will be shifted here, 0, 0, 1 will be shifted. This 1 will go back again as your input. Okay. During the last clock pulse, what will happen? This 1 will be shifted here, 0 will be shifted here, 0 will be shifted here, 0 will be shifted here. So this is how the action takes place. Now you can see that the initial data is obtained in your fourth clock pulse. 1, 0, 0, 0. This is called as your uh, ring counter now the zero will go back again it repeats itself it's a circulatory principle now if i draw it by means of your timing diagram so here this is your clock pulse so what is which edge triggered so it is positive edge triggered right so this is your clock now here it is rising edge one two three four right so let me take this as your serial in your input data then you have your outputs q3 q2 q1 and your q0 okay and your q0 now so this will be your rising edge so what is your output you are getting 
so initial data what is your initial data 1 0 0 0 right initial state of your register so this will be 1 this will be 0 this will be 0 this will be 0 now 0 will be fed back again as your input the serial input so during the first clock pulse the rising edge what will happen this 0 will be shifted here this 1 will be shifted here this 0 will be shifted here this 0 will be shifted here so here you you have a change in the state 0 here you have 1 here you have again maintaining it 0 here you have again 0 this 0 will be shifted again as in your input here right so during the next second clock pulse what happens this 0 will be shifted here 0 will be shifted here 1 will be shifted here 0 will be shifted here so this 0 will again be shifted as your input so this will maintain here here you have 0 this will go back to 1 and here you have again remaining in 0 during the next clock pulse what will happen this 0 will be shifted here 0 this 0 will be shifted here this 1 will be shifted here and this one will go back again as your input here so here no change here it is 0 here it is going back to 0 and here it is coming back to your 1 during the next clock pulse what happened during the rising edge what happens this one will be shifted here so it will change to 1 right the 0 will be shifted here 0 will be shifted here 0 will be shifted here so here it will be maintaining in 0 here also 0 here it is switching back to your 0 so if you see here the initial data 1000 you have obtained in your fourth pulse okay so this is also called by the name as divide by n counter okay so this is your working principle of your ring counter the next topic is going to be your johnson counter where the only difference is that here it is q0 is connected to the input if q0 bar is connected to the input serial input then it acts as your johnson counter or it is called as a twisted counter twisted ring counter okay